Hello students, today we're going to start learning how to solve those stoichiometry problems. Stoichiometry problems can be a little tricky sometimes, and there's a couple different ways you can do these. I'm going to show you the conversion box method today. Um, so let's start right in here. How many grams of sodium can be produced starting with 6.78 grams of sodium chloride? First make sure your equation is balanced, and this is in fact balanced so we can dive right in. It says how many grams of sodium, here's my sodium, so I'm going to put X grams there. And I'm starting with 6.78 grams of sodium chloride, so I'm going to label that as well. Now this is called the conversion box method because I'm going to draw a big box over here, and in that box I'm going to write down all of my conversion factors that I'm going to need to set up the dimensional analysis. So um, every single problem must have a mole ratio. Every single one, no exceptions. So you're going to take these coefficients and label them moles. So our first conversion factor is going to be 2 mole NaCl equals 2 mole Na. The next thing I need to do is come up with a formula mass for anything with grams or if it's an element it would just be the atomic mass of that element. So we have NaCl here labeled grams so I'm going to say 1 mole NaCl equals. Now when you're doing these problems we're asking you to round off all of the masses on the periodic table to two decimal places. So if I look up sodium that rounds off to 22.99. I'm going to add to that the mass of chlorine at 35.45 and I'm going to get 58.44. So this is just a formula mass like you learned back in Unit 5. Same thing. Alright. Now, I also have grams labeled here on Na. So that's an element. So I'm just going to put 1 mole Na equals 22.99 grams Na. Label everything. Don't get lazy. You must label all your units on everything. Now we're going to use the dimensional analysis technique to solve these problems. So you're going to begin by putting your starting amount, 6.78 grams NaCl. All right, I'm going to use the railroad tracks this time. Okay. Now you're going to make compartments equal to how many conversion factors you've got over here. I have three conversion factors, so I'm going to have three compartments in my dimensional analysis. My final answer has to be the units of what I'm solving for. I'm solving for grams of Na, so that has to go in the top of the last box. Now let's go over here and find the conversion factor that has grams of Na. Here it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in, 22.99 grams Na, and what it's equal to is going to go on the bottom, 1 mole Na. Now I need to chain together these other two conversion factors in my boxes so that all the units cancel top and bottom. Notice I have grams of NaCl that I'm starting with, so I'm going to need grams of NaCl in the bottom of the next box. So I'm going to come over here and find that. There it is, 58.44. And I'm going to put what that's equal to on the top. 1 mole NaCl. So this box is going to need to have my mole ratio in it. Notice I've got moles of Na on the bottom, and I want that to cancel, so I've got to put the two moles of Na on the top. I also want the moles of NaCl to cancel, so I'm going to put the two moles of NaCl on the bottom. So now we make sure everything cancels. Grams of NaCl, grams of NaCl. Moles of NaCl, moles of NaCl. Moles of Na, moles of Na, and what I'm solving for is on the top of the last fraction. So I'm all ready to do my arithmetic. So remember we're going to multiply everything across the top. So we've got 6.78 times 2 
times 22.99. Whoops. And we're going to divide all that by everything across the bottom. 58.44 and 2. Now, before you get out your calculator, notice I can cancel these 2's. 2's divide out. So do yourself a favor and see if you can cancel anything in, in the way of numbers. So I take 6.78 times 22.99, divide that by 58.44, and I get 2.6672, and then it keeps on going. So now I have to round this off. We're going to use significant figures. Notice I've got three significant figures here at the beginning. Always go back to the beginning of your problem to count the significant digits. So I'm going to need to round this off to three significant figures. Now notice the next digit's a 7, so that's going to round this up to 2.67, and then I label it grams NA. Students, when you're finished these problems, please circle or box your final answer. It makes it a lot easier for us teachers to find your answer when we're grading your stuff. All right, let's do another one. If we want to produce 3.62 grams of Cl2, how many moles of NaCl do we need? All right, so we're going to produce 3.62 grams of the Cl2, and we're solving for moles of NaCl. So this one's a little bit different than the last one. I don't have grams in both cases. One of the substances is moles, the other one is in grams. All right, here we go. Let's do our conversion box. So you're going to draw your box over on the left-hand side. It doesn't have to be on the left. You can put it pretty much anywhere you want. Remember, we always do a mole ratio first. So 2 moles NaCl is equal to 1 mole Cl2. Why is it 1? Because there is no coefficient here, so we assume that that's a 1. Next step, anything with grams gets a formula mass. Well, the only grams I see are right here. That's the Cl2. So I need to look up the atomic mass of Cl and double it. So 1 mole Cl2 equals, and let's see, that comes out to 70.9 grams of Cl2. There's no other grams here, so I'm done. Now. Starting amount, 3.62 grams Cl2. Set up your railroad tracks. Your compartments are equal to how many conversion factors you have. There are two conversion factors, so we have two compartments. I'm solving for moles of NaCl. That must be on the top of the last compartment or fraction here. All right, so I've got to find that over here in my conversion factors. Here it is right here. So I'm going to have a 2 on the top, and then whatever it's equal to goes on the bottom. That's 1 mole Cl2. Now in this compartment, I want to get grams of Cl2 to cancel. So I'm going to use this conversion factor. I'm going to put 70.9 grams of Cl2 on the bottom, and 1 mole Cl2 would go on the top. Now let's make sure everything has canceled properly. Grams of Cl2, grams of Cl2. Moles of Cl2, moles of Cl2, and moles of NaCl are what we're solving for, so we're good to go. So we're going to take 3.62, multiply that by 2, and then divide that whole thing by 70.9. We're going to get a pretty small number this time. So we put that in our calculator, and we get point. 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, and it keeps on going. So we have to look for sig figs. There's three significant figures in the starting number, so we're going to round off to three significant figures. So you're going to get 0 0.102. Label it. You're solving for moles of NaCl. And then finally, circle your answer. All right, one more, and then we're going to be all finished. If we begin with... Point zero point uh, zero nine seven three moles of NaCl. How many moles of Cl two will be produced? All right, so I've got let's see moles of NaCl here. So point zero nine seven three moles, and then x moles of Cl two. All right, conversion box. 
Now, this is going to be a shorter problem because there's no grams here. I don't have to do any formula mass. The only conversion I'm going to have is my mole ratio. So 2 mole NaCl is equal to 1 mole Cl2. Put your starting amount down. Railroad tracks, we only have one conversion factor. I'm going to cancel the moles of NaCl. I'm solving for moles of Cl2, so that's got to go on the top. So I'm going to have a 2 here, a 1 here, divide, round off to three significant figures this time. And we get a really small number, 0 0.0487. And then we label what, what we're solving for, moles of Cl2, and circle or box your answer. Actually, we have one more after this. Let's do one more, and then we'll be done. I promise this time. How many grams of SO2 will form from 2.75 grams of O2? All right, notice my equation's already balanced. I don't have to balance it. I've got 2.75 grams of O2, and my x is going to be the SO2, and it's in grams. So I see I've got 2 grams here. I'm going to have to do two formula masses plus a mole ratio. So I'm going to have three conversion factors in this problem. Once you do a bunch of these, you'll be able to eyeball it and know right away what you're going to be putting in your box. All right, my coefficient for oxygen is 7 and SO2 is 4. So we say 7 moles O2 equal 4 moles SO2. All right, now grams of O2. 1 mole O2 equals. Now, 1 mole of O2, so I'm going to take the mass of 1 oxygen and double it. So that's going to be 32.00 grams. Remember, we have to go to two decimal places, but they're going to be zeros. All right, last conversion factor, 1 mole SO2. And then I look up all my masses, round them off to two decimal places, and add it all up, and I get 64.07 grams of SO2. All right, we're going to set up our railroad tracks. 2.75 grams of O2 is our starting amount. Now, how many compartments are we going to need on our train? One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I'm solving for grams of SO2. So if I come over here, I'm going to use this conversion factor, 64.07. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have one mole SO2. Now let's backtrack back to the first compartment. Here I've got grams of O2. I want that on the bottom. So that was 32.00, okay, and that's equal to 1 mole O2. And then in this box, we're going to have our mole ratio. Now you're going to put the 7 moles of O2 on the bottom, and then the 4 moles of SO2 go on the top. So now we're ready to cancel. Grams of O2, grams of O2, moles of O2, moles of O2, moles of SO2, moles of SO2, and my ending point is grams of SO2. All right, let's put it all together. 2.75 times 4 times 64.07. On the bottom, 32.00, and we also have a 7. I don't see anything that easily cancels, so I'm just going to put this all in my calculator and round it all off. Okay, and then once we put that all in our calculator, we get 3.146, and it's uh, a long decimal, so we're going to round that off, once again, to three significant figures. And our final answer is 3.15 grams of SO2. And now we are finished. See you in class.